So the next exercise I'm going to show you to improve your shoulder mobility is going to be something we've all done in the gym before. It's just a shoulder car. I would advise you do this personally every single day. Think about setting a timer 60 to 90 seconds and doing this on each shoulder every day and I honestly say your shoulder mobility will improve. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the said shoulder, so I'm going to go with my right one and I'm going to get my palm and I'm going to wring that out as much as I can. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it across my body, keep my arm locked out. Then my arm comes up in a straight line above my head in line with my shoulder. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach behind me as far as I can. Whenever I run out of room here, what I'm going to do, just going to turn to the side so you can see me, is rotate my palm away. I'm going to reach behind me and think about drawing a massive circle with my hand. I'm going to keep that rotation with my palm. And as it comes down, I'm finishing off drawing that circle. My palm should be facing towards like the back wall or not facing you whenever it's down by the side. Then I'm going to retrace those steps. So I'm going to come back up the way, palm still facing out. I'm going to go as high as I can before I run out of room. For me, it's here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to rotate my palm back in towards me, still thinking about retracing the steps of those circle that I just drew at the start. Hand is then in line with the head. Bring that across the body and finish off the shoulder car. That's one rep. I would advise not even going for reps, going for time. Do as many reps as you can at that tension for about two minutes a day. The easiest way I find to get some tension in that shoulder car is whenever you're starting the rep, if you bring your hand up, put your hand there, press in against it, see that tension you just have in your shoulder, think about keeping that there the rest of the way all through that rep and your shoulder mobility will improve. Something to look out for whenever you're doing the shoulder car is whenever you're here and you're bringing your uh, arm up in line with your head, whenever you're rotating here and you're rotating your palm away, what you want to look out for is you don't want to use your upper back and your body. So you don't want to start leaning back and facing away into it. You want to keep your chest facing forward and it's only the shoulder that's doing the work. So here I'm rotating my palm, I'm reaching, I'm reaching. I'm not turning into it and leaning back. I'm letting my shoulder do the work, going where my range is, still facing forward, rotating that shoulder, turning the palm away, reaching behind me, and bringing myself to the halfway point. Same again on the way back up. Whenever I'm coming back up as high as I can before I rotate the palm back in, I don't want to be looking in. I don't want to try and compensate. I want to keep facing forward, turn the palm back in, letting the shoulder do the work, back in line with the head and finishing off the rep. So you should never be turning your chest or your upper back into the rep. You should always be facing forward. Let the shoulder do the rotating.